All right, so in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different, and I'm gonna show you the process of how to set up a very simple vine or thorn type of rig inside of Maya. So I've got this scene open up here with this sort of rough, simple vine thorn type of geometry. So basically what we want to happen is have this vine almost kind of growing out of the ground in a way that a vine or thorn would. So that's what we're going to actually set up here in Maya. And it's a really simple setup just using deformers. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin that process. So I've got this geometry selected here, standing upright, which is what we want. And I'm gonna come up here to deform and I'm gonna come to nonlinear. And a lot of these deformers are a great way to add these sort of visual effects type of elements to an object in your scene. So I'm gonna add the twist deformer and I'll drop that in here. And now if I go ahead and just amp up the start angle, you can see that I'm starting to actually rotate and twist this vine around. And I wanna actually increase this quite a bit. So I'll probably go to like a start angle of like 500. And now you can see my vine is really twisted up along that deformer. So oftentimes when I'm animating, I might need to do more type of pre-visualization type of work. Maybe I'm kind of pre out a new sort of gameplay mechanic. And the best way to do that, I find, is to try to sell that idea really in the best way possible. And that often means actually going into the program you're animating in and adding things like visual effects elements to sell your idea, maybe even temp visual effects or sound effects, anything that can better demonstrate the idea that you're going for. It's always a good idea to add that stuff in there. And oftentimes that can mean adding in some really temp visual effects elements to kind of sell your idea. So maybe in this case, the character that you're animating has control over vines. Maybe they can like pull vines out of the ground. So actually adding in those visual effects elements can really help with that. Uh, so I've got the start angle set to 500. Now with the start angle set, if I just select my geometry of the actual thorn, I can actually just move this up and down that deformer. And you can see it's gonna appear like it's twisting because it's actually twisting around that deformer based on this start angle that we have set. Now you can also do things like the end angle and adjust that to get you know, it twisting more at the top. You have the low bound as well as the high bound. So you can see as I move that up, it's cutting off where it's actually twisting this piece of geometry. So it's twisting less on the base, more at the top. If I go to high bound, I can bring that down and twist more at the bottom than the base. But I like to keep those kind of even because I want to kind of twist it across the entire piece of geometry. So just something like this will probably work. And I might actually increase that end angle a little bit as well. Let's see. Maybe something like that. And you can kind of see the effect that you're gonna get as you move this piece of geometry up and down this deformer. So what I wanna do is move this thorn below the ground press S to lock a keyframe down. Then I'm gonna to go to like frame 30 or so, and I'm just gonna move this up along that deformer. Just to right about there. And now as I play this, you can see that vine kind of appears as if it's actually growing out of the ground and kind of twisting around that deformer. So it's creating a really cool effect for us. And then as always, we can come in here and tweak this deformer as needed. Um, you can see if I actually move the deformer, you can see it's going to change the, the deformation that it's creating quite a bit. Um, so you can rotate it if you want, but typically we can stick with just the start angle and just play around with the type of twisting that you're getting here. So we can increase that start angle quite a bit. So we really have this vine kind of twisting around here, around this piece of geometry. And then of course, you know, we can have it, might have it reduce the amount that it goes up at 32 and maybe add more of like a moving hold toward the end. So just have it kind of easing into that position to just really feel like it's continuing that sort of growing motion for a little bit longer. So we can kind of play around with that. And then maybe eventually we'll want to have this thing lower back to the ground, maybe at the end of the animation. So maybe we can just add it add some keyframes where it's kind of just lowering and we can kind of play around with the timing of that as well. 
and then just have it go below the floor. So just really simple, just up and down movement on the actual piece of geometry. But since we have this twist deformer, we actually have it twisting around where that deformer is set up. And I might tweak the timing of this. I feel like it's dropping a little bit too slow. So I'll just grab these keyframes and just speed up the lowering just a little bit, just to have it kind of lower a little bit faster. So that's kind of the basic setup for that twist deformer. Now another deformer we can add in here to kind of have this move a little bit more like you might want for a vine. We can go in here and select this piece of geometry again. I'm gonna go up to where it's actually standing up on the ground because depending on where this piece of geometry is at in the scene, that's where it's going to you know place that deformer that we're adding in here. So we want it to actually be placed with the thorn piece kind of in the air. So I'm gonna go up to deform. I'm gonna add another nonlinear deformer. And this time I wanna do bend. So I can see that if I grab the curvature, we're able to actually curve this thorn around. And I wanna actually rotate this. So that's curving a little bit more on the side like that. So now with this bend deformer, we can adjust the curvature for the actual thorn piece and maybe I just want to bend the top. So what I might do is take that low bound and reduce that. So it's mainly bending the top piece of geometry because I don't want the base to actually be sticking out of the ground. So I might just reduce that. We can still have a little bit of bend twist in it. Maybe we can adjust that curvature even more. We can play around with that as needed to get kind of as much bend or as little bend as we want. So something like that. Now with that bend deformer added in there, with this piece of geometry we have already animated, it's gonna move through that bend deformer and you can see it's gonna bend around that deformer. So now we're creating something that feels a little bit more natural to the growth of these vines by just adding this bend deformer. So now you can see it's kind of bending around. We're getting a really nice kind of curvature. So as it moves up, it's kind of curving around that. So you kind of get that really cool kind of twisting feeling that you would want in a vine. And you can see as it goes back down toward the ground, it's gonna follow that deformer again. So now that you have the kind of basic knowledge to set up this type of rig, you can experiment with the type of effects that you wanna create in here with this. So what I'm actually gonna do real quick is take the geometry when it's down here. I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate that. And I'm just gonna add this new piece of geometry. And maybe we want this piece of geometry. I'll go ahead and adjust my center pivot to make this a little bit easier. So we have this vine piece growing out there. So maybe we want the vine to be growing out of the ground, but it is kind of curving all around the surface of the ground. So I'm gonna add some curvature to this. I'm gonna rotate it so it's actually bending like that. Maybe getting even more curvature, we can adjust uh, low bound, the high bound of this if we want to. We can select the deformer and the geometry, go to world mode, and then actually translate this up. So now maybe you have like a piece of vine that's kind of growing out of the ground, but it never actually fully emerges. So then if you just move this geometry around that deformer, it's gonna create a really cool kind of wave effect as this is growing out of the ground. So we can move it down here. Maybe it starts kind of growing this way and almost kind of moving like a wave through this. You can get some really cool effects this way of like different ways that this vine can kind of grow out of the ground. And then obviously if you want to, you can grab the geometry, grab both of these deformers if you want to duplicate this and just go to edit, duplicate special, open up the option box and make sure you just have duplicate input graph. And then now what I might do is go to outliner with all these things selected, I'll press Control D to actually group those. And then now you can see we've got this other piece of geometry with that same animation that maybe we can duplicate it and add this sort of like twisting effect where these vines feel like they're kind of growing around each other. And we can tweak this more to kind of have it feel a bit more like it's kind of twisting up like that. So you can create some really cool effects with this. And then also you can just grab that piece of geometry and adjust the timing of this. Maybe you want this all to happen a little bit later so you can grab all those keyframes, shift it a little bit later, maybe make that happen a little bit faster. And you can just play around with the timing of this and just go through here and just duplicate and kind of rotate these vines around to create 
sort of different types of effects. But this is really the basic approach that I take when I'm creating any type of sort of temp visual effects directly inside of Maya. I like to use these deformers to create different types of effects really quickly. It's not like we're actually having to go in there to add bones to this piece of geometry. We're just simply using deformers to create a little bit more of a different type of effect as this piece of geometry is moving in Maya, adding that twisting and growing type of effect to this animation. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys were able to learn a few things out of this and be able to implement these sort of deformer effects into your own animation. And as always, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and thanks for watching.